Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to episode 23 of the Weekend Gear Guide. In this episode, we'll be comparing four of the best UPF 50 Plus Sun Hoodies for 2022 and 2023 and provide our recommendation as to which of these UPF 50 Plus Sun Hoodies would be best suited for you and your weekend activities. So let's get started. We'll begin first by briefly going over the advantages of sun hoodies versus sunscreens and sun sprays. First, sun hoodies provide easy, fast, and convenient protection from UVA and UVB rays. For example, trying to get sunscreen or sun spray spread on exposed parts of your body like on your back by yourself is not very easy and may require the use of custom applicators and if not spread evenly, will result in uneven protection and unsightly tan lines. Furthermore, you will need to wait up to 15 minutes in the shade for the sunscreen or sun spray to be absorbed into your skin before sun exposure. In addition, most sunscreen and sun sprays only provide protection against UVB rays. Second, most sunscreens and sun sprays, especially the inexpensive ones, are oily, greasy, and sticky and needs to be reapplied. In addition, sunscreens and sun sprays can stain your clothing and also make your gear and equipment greasy and sticky. Third, most sunscreens and sun sprays do not wash off your skin easily, especially the 80-minute water-resistant ones, leaving residue on your skin even after washing with soap. Sun hoodies, on the other hand, can easily be taken off and at most will only make you sweat, which can easily be washed off. Fourth, Sunscreen and sun sprays have limited use in only outdoor sunny conditions between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., whereas sun hoodies can be used casually almost anywhere at any time, both outdoors and indoors. Sun hoodies are also washable, reusable, and more cost-effective in the long run. And finally, sun hoodies with a regular fit are great for covering up the occasional sugar or beer belly. However, it should be pointed out that there are some limitations of sun hoodies. The first of which is fairly obvious in that sun hoodies do not cover your face and hands and in this case, you will need to apply sunscreen for protection. We recommend using a light fluid titanium dioxide based sunscreen meant for sensitive skin like those from La Roche-Posay which will provide both UVA and UVB protection. Check out the links in the description below for our recommended sunscreens. Second, sun hoodies can be restrictive to an individual's performance for some sports. The best examples of this is competitive swimming and beach volleyball. Third, sun hoodies naturally feel hotter to wear versus being shirtless using sunscreen or sunspray. And finally, people with skin conditions like eczema may be limited to wearing only sun hoodies made from natural fibers such as cotton, bamboo, or a cotton bamboo blend, which are generally better for these individuals in comparison to polyester or wool-based sun hoodies. However, for most people, these limitations are either very minor and or not applicable. And for the majority of us who fall into this category, before I go into the best UPF 50 plus sun hoodies for this summer 2022 and 2023 season, we'll briefly cover our pick for the best UPF 15 to 40 sun hoodies for summer 2022 and 2023. For hotter conditions, when the UV index forecast is moderate between 3 and 5, we recommend the Patagonia Capoline Cool Daily Hoodie, which retails for $55. This sun hoodie has a UPF rating between 17 to 45, with an average UPF of 34, and weighs only 162 grams, or 5.71 ounces, for a size small. For cooler summer conditions, when the UV index forecast is moderate between 3 and 5, we recommend the North Face Wander Sun Hoodie, which retails for $50 and has a UPF rating of 40 plus. The Wander Sun Hoodie is the second heaviest sun hoodie in this review, weighing in at 212 grams or 7.48 ounces for a size small due to the fact that it uses a double knit polyester fabric. However, it should be noted that even though the Wander Sun Hoodie uses a double knit polyester fabric, it is the quickest drying sun hoodie in this review due to its proprietary flash dry technology. 
And for those of you bargain hunters out there looking for the best UPF 50 Plus Sun hoodies from past seasons that are on sale, which may be in stock at your local factory outlet or on any used gear or worn wear sites, then for hot summer conditions when the UV index forecast is 6 or higher, we recommend you search for the Arcteryx Phasic Sun Hoodie, which in our opinion is the golden standard for which any other UPF 50 Plus Sun Hoodie would be measured against. The Phasic FL-X fabric used on this sun hoodie is extremely lightweight and air permeable and dries fairly quickly, and of all the sun hoodies in this review, the Phasic sun hoodie is by far the lightest, weighing only 144 grams or 5.08 ounces for a size small, and yet after more than 4 years of use for daily wear, rock climbing, hiking, camping, paddle boarding, and even swimming in fresh, salt, and chlorinated water, is still in fairly good condition. And if you're looking for a past season UPF 50 plus sun hoodie for cooler summer conditions when the UV index forecast is six or higher, we recommend you search for the Patagonia Sunshade Technical Hoodie. This double knit polyester sun hoodie has the most generous, loose fitting cut out of all the sun hoodies in this review with the most coverage due to lawn sleeves with thumb holes on the cuffs and a button on the neck of the hood to help secure the hood. Given the loose cut, it's no surprise this is one of the heavier sun hoodies weighing in at 210 grams or 7.41 ounces for a size small. And finally, the Sunshade Technical Hoodie has the slowest drying time of all the sun hoodies in this review, which is surprising given it's designed for flat fishing. Now let's go over the best UPF 50 Plus sun hoodies for the summer 2022 and 2023 season. The criteria we use for selecting the best UPF 50 Plus Sun Hoodies for 2022 and 2023 are as follows. First, the Sun Hoodie must have UPF 50 Plus Sun Protection. Second, the Sun Hoodie must cost less than $100 US. Third, the Sun Hoodie must be lightweight using a thin, quick drying and air permeable fabric. Fourth, the Sun Hoodie must have a regular fit to allow for good airflow. The only exception is for water sports which requires the sun hoodie to be form fitting in order to reduce drag. Fifth, the sun hoodie should have an anti-odor treatment. Sixth, the sun hoodie should have thumb holes or thumb loops. And finally, the sun hoodie should have a helmet compatible hood, with exception of sun hoodies designed for water sports. But the helmet compatible hood should not restrict head movement when used over the helmet and should still fit comfortably and securely over your head when not wearing a helmet. Starting off this review in alphabetical order is the Arcteryx Cormac hoodie which retails for $90. Although this sun hoodie is intended to be used for trail running, we found it works well for all sorts of activities from hiking, biking, rock climbing and general everyday activities. The Cormac hoodie comes in four colors for the 2022 season and has an advertised weight of 160 grams, which is close to our measured weight of 159 grams or 5.6 ounces for a size small. The Cormac hoodie uses a 100% polyester austere fabric with a durable anti-odor treatment and is light with a textured airy feel to it with a small low key logo printed on the left side of the chest. The Cormac hoodie uses a mirror stitch seam construction which feels comfortable next to skin with a soft fabric tape placed on the back of the neck to help further improve comfort and reduce chafing. Arcteryx has the best implementation for their material and care labels which uses the same material fabric to sew the label into the seam which can easily be cut off without leaving any itchy parts of the label embedded into the stitching. The thumb loops are built into the cuffs and are very discreet and do not feel like they are even there even if you don't decide to use them. In terms of drying time, although the Cormac hoodie doesn't dry as fast as the North Face Wander Sun hoodie, the drying time is still rated excellent and dries slightly faster than other UPF 50 Plus Sun hoodies for 2022 and 2023 shown in this review. In terms of fit, our model is 5 foot 8, 175 pounds with a 40 inch chest and 32 inch waist and the regular fit size small fits perfect over our model's average build without being too loose or too tight around any parts of the body or too long or too short in either the hem or sleeve length. 
and as mentioned earlier, although the Cormac hoodie is intended to be used for trail running, from our experience using this sun hoodie for climbing, we found it works well under a climbing harness and the hood fits perfectly over a climbing helmet and does not feel restrictive or uncomfortable with respect to head movement. Next up in this review is the Black Diamond Alpen Glow hoodie which retails for $85. Although this sun hoodie is intended to be used for rock climbing, we found it works well for all sorts of activities and we particularly loved using it for paddle boarding. The Alpen Glow hoodie comes in four colors for the 2022 season and has an advertised weight of 244 grams, but our measured weight was significantly lighter coming in at 199 grams or 7.02 ounces for a size small. The Alpen Glow hoodie uses a 200 grams per square meter stretched textured knit fabric with a polygene anti-odor treatment consisting of 87% polyester and 13% elastane making it feel very airy and stretchy. The Alpen Glow hoodie uses a seam construction which feels comfortable next to skin with a soft fabric sewn on the back of the neck to further improve comfort and reduce chafing. Black Diamond, like most other brands, stitch their material and care labels directly into the seam of their products, which when cut off, leaves some parts of the label embedded into the stitching. One important detail we should mention is that although Black Diamond advertises a credit card hip pocket included in their Alpen Glow hoodie, we could not find this feature on the Alpen Glow hoodie that we purchased. However, please leave a comment below if you have a similar experience. In terms of drying time, the Alpen Glow hoodie dries very fast, which we rate as a very good due to its airy textured knit design, despite consisting of 13% elastane, which typically slows down the drying time. In terms of fit, our model is 5'8", 175 pounds, with a 40-inch chest and 32-inch waist, and although the Alpen Glow hoodie is advertised as being a regular fit, we found that the size small has a slim fit on our model's average build, which still feels very comfortable and easy to move around in due to the stretchy fabric design. The Alpen Glow hoodie also has the longest cut out of any of the UPF 50 Plus Sun hoodies in this review, since it's intended to be used for rock climbing where a long cut is preferred, so the hem remains under the harness, though we found it too long for our model's 5'8 height. And finally, although the Alpen Glow hoodie is advertised to have an under-the-helmet hood, we found that the hood fits comfortably over a climbing helmet and does not restrict movement in any way due to the stretchy fabric used on the hood design. Up next is the Outdoor Research Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie, which retails for $79. Outdoor Research does not specify on their website any specific intended use for the Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie, but based on our use, we find it performs well for just about any summer activity. The Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie comes in three colors for the 2022 season and has an advertised weight of 203 grams, but our measured weight was significantly higher, coming in at 214 grams or 7.55 ounces for a size small, making it the heaviest sun hoodie in this review. The Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie uses a synthetic fabric consisting of 94% polyester and 6% spandex, which feels smooth and silky next to skin. Special xylitol crystal additives have also been added to the fabric, which outdoor research claims actively lowers skin temperature an average of 4 degrees as you sweat via active cooling technology. Hence, the Active Ice trademark name. And although we have not felt this cooling effect, the Active Ice technology may work for people who sweat a lot in the hot summer heat. The Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie uses a flat seam construction and as you can see has some minor quality control issues in the seam construction at various places. However, this didn't seem to unravel and impact the functionality nor did the flat seam construction feel uncomfortable next to skin. On the back of the neck is an interior center back locker loop which is good for hanging this sun hoodie on a hook at the end of the day. There are thumb holes built into the cuffs, and while not as discreet and hidden like the thumb loops on the Arcteryx Cormac hoodie, we find that this thumb hole design provides more coverage for your hands. 
And similar to Black Diamond, the Outdoor Research Activized Spectrum Sun Hoodie has the material and care label stitched into the seam which would make this uncomfortable to wear if this product were intended to be used as a next to skin base layer which fortunately it is not. In terms of drying time, the Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie dries very fast, which we rate as very good, which is equal to that of the Black Diamond Alpen Glow Hoodie. In terms of fit, our model is 5 foot 8, 175 pounds, with a 40 inch chest and 32 inch waist, and the Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie has a loose and almost relaxed fit, despite being advertised as having a standard fit. This sun hoodie also has the shortest cut out of all the sun hoodies in this review with the hem cut shorter at the front relative to the back. However, the Active Ice Spectrum sun hoodie still works well underneath a climbing harness and does not ride up and over the harness despite having a fairly short cut due to the stretchiness of the fabric allowing unrestrictive movement. In addition, the hood fits comfortably over a climbing helmet and does not restrict movement in any way due to the stretchy fabric used on the hood design. One neat little design element on the Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie is the use of slits on each side of the bottom hem which helps make it easier to access your hand pockets making it great for everyday use. The Arcteryx Cormac hoodie by comparison takes a bit more effort to roll the bottom hem up in order to access your pockets and then pull in the hem back down, though we think the difference is insignificant in our opinion. However, for longer and slimmer hem cuts like on the Black Diamond Alpen Glow hoodie, the effort to pull the longer hem up is definitely more noticeable in addition to the look of the material folded up. And similarly, the effort to pull all that extra material back down is also quite noticeable. The last UPF 50 Plus Sun hoodie in this review is the Patagonia R0 hoodie which retails for $75. The Patagonia R0 hoodie is specifically designed for surfing and paddling but we loved using this sun hoodie for stand up paddle boarding, kayaking and swimming which worked great in fresh, salt or chlorinated water. The Patagonia R0 hoodie uses 5.5 ounces of PFC-free DWR-treated Net Plus 84% post-consumer recycled nylon and 16% spandex which feels smooth and silky next to skin when dry and is very stretchy which is needed for this form-fitting sun hoodie. The Patagonia R0 hoodie only comes in two colors for the 2022 season and has an advertised weight of 204 grams, but our measured weight was significantly higher, coming in at 214 grams or 7.55 ounces for a size medium, making it tied for the heaviest sun hoodie in this review. The Patagonia R0 hoodie uses a flat seam construction which feels comfortable next to skin and has a close fitting three panel hood with brim and an adjustable draw cord that provides a secure customized fit around the face. And as you can see, one drawback to the white color is that sunscreen used on the face can easily stain the inside of the hood and is tough to wash out. The cuff on the sleeves show the UPF 50 Plus logo on one side as well as the thumb loops on both sides. There is a rear pocket on the back with a tiny hole on the bottom corner and a corrosion proof recyclable plastic zipper which opens up and is large enough to securely store your surf and paddle essentials and even a cell phone. And on the bottom of the front hem is a board shorts connector. In terms of drying time, the Patagonia R0 hoodie takes a fair amount of time to dry and almost as long as the Patagonia Sunshade Technical hoodie. The longer dry time is due to the 16% spandex contained within the fabric. In terms of fit, our model is 5 foot 8, 175 pounds with a 40 inch chest and 32 inch waist and the medium sized form fit in Patagonia R0 hoodie fits just about right on our average build model who typically wears a size small. So it's recommended to size one size up from your typical size if you have an average build. The hood with integrated brim also is close fitting as shown which is required for less drag and more comfort when swimming underwater. However, it should be noted that once you come out of the water you'll need to pull on each side of the hood in order to drain the water from your ears. 
So before we provide our final recommendations, we would like to note there is one more Sun hoodie which we were not able to include in this comparison review since it does not meet our UPF 50 plus criteria, which is the Mountain Hardware Crater Lake Lawn Sleeve hoodie. However, we still think it deserves honorable mention and for our female audience, we were able to get a first look review for the Women's Crater Lake Lawn Sleeve hoodie. As shown, the Women's Crater Lake Lawn Sleeve hoodie comes with draw cord ties on the bottom hem and a small pocket on the side to store small and light items like a credit card and there are thumb holes present on the cuffs of each sleeve. Our lovely model is 5 foot 4, 110 pounds and is wearing a size extra small that has a standard fit which fits perfectly on her slim frame. This sun hoodie also has an advertised weight of 120 grams or 4.2 ounces which exactly matches our measured weight for a size extra small. And although the Women's Crater Lake Lawn Sleeve hoodie is not UPF 50 plus rated and retails for $60, there are 5 colors now on sale for $29.98. Therefore, given the 50% off sale price on top of a respectable UPF 50 rating combined with additional features, great style, and multiple colors to choose from, we think this is an excellent sun hoodie that should definitely be considered. Now let's go over our final recommendations for the best UPF 50 plus sun hoodies for the 2022 and 2023 summer season. Based on our experience over the past few months, we would recommend the following. If you're an individual with an average to wider build and want a sun hoodie with a long cut and try super quick with an anti-odor treatment which is good for trail running, hiking, and biking activities, then the Arcteryx Cormac hoodie would be best suited for you with the only con being the high cost typically associated with Arcteryx products. And if you're an individual with a thin to slim build and want a sun hoodie with an extra long cut and long sleeves with a quick drying time and an anti-odor treatment, which is good for rock climbing and hiking activities, then the Black Diamond Alpine Glow hoodie would be best suited for you. The only con we can think of is the missing advertised credit card hip pocket. Now if you're an individual with an average to wider build and want a sun hoodie with a shorter cut with a quick drying time and a cool feeling effect when you sweat, which is good for everyday hiking and biking activities, then the Outdoor Research Active Ice Spectrum Sun Hoodie would be best suited for you. The only con we can think of is the lack of an anti-odor treatment. And finally, if you're an individual with a thin, slim, or average build and want a sun hoodie with UPF 50 plus sun protection exclusively for water sports activities in chlorinated, fresh, or salt water, then the Patagonia R0 hoodie would be best suited for you. And if there's any con that we can think of, it is the difficult effort involved when trying to remove this hoodie when it is wet. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the products shown in this video, please leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful and informative, click on the subscribe button to get notified of any new reviews, and stay tuned for the next Weekend Gear Guide episode.